Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood teen librarian. And when the outside looks kind of like this, not quite warm enough to go outside and do all the things you like to do, sometimes you need some indoor games. And that's what this month's Trash Panda Treasure Box is all about. And if you're watching this video, then that means you picked the beanbag toss. Okay. So you've got your instructions, your plates, your markers. Set those off to the side to start with. Um, you should have four bean bags, and then um, four pieces of rectangular felt in different colors, a needle, and some embroidery thread. And basically what we're gonna do is we are gonna take this felt and use it to cover our bean bags to make them a little more fun um, and also to make it so that, you know, if they fall in the dog's water or um, in a pile of snow or someplace gross, you can take off the felt and replace it with new felt and the beanbag will still be good. So what we're going to do first is we are going to thread our needle um, and you can pull the embroidery thread. You don't want it too long. I'll probably pull it a little bit more. Um, cut it right off. And we were able to get needles, this part of the needle is called the eye, and we got what are called big eye needles. So the whole entire piece of embroidery thread should fit right through. Um, it's kind of weird, but basically you're going to take that end and lick it, um, or you can put some water on your fingers and put it through there, but you want to stick all of the smaller threads together and flat, and it should pass right through the eye of that needle. And you're not going to tie the knot up here. Um, you're going to keep a long length of it double um, and then down at the far end you're going to put your double knot. So we've got one knot and then the second one you're going to tie kind of slowly so that you can hopefully have it knot right on top of that first knot that you tied. There's the end and there we go. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take our felt and fold it in half, basically. Maybe a little less than half if it's a smaller bean bag. Um, and we're gonna start down at this, um, the end that has the fold in it. So right where that loop is in the fabric, that's where we're gonna start sewing. And we're gonna go down one end and across and then we'll put our bean bag in and finish it off. So right where that loop is, the fold, starting from the inside, I'm gonna just put the needle through the fabric once. And the reason we do this is so that the, the knot will stay on the inside. It just makes it look a little cleaner, a little bit nicer. You don't have to worry about that hanging out. And then I'm gonna take the needle back through both sides of felt from the back to the front, going through both pieces of that folded felt. And then I'm gonna do the same thing again, always going from the back out the front. And that's gonna give us that little bit of thread that's showing on the top, and this is called a whip stitch. So there we go. And then flip it back over so that we can come from the back out the front through both pieces of felt again. And we'll go ahead, we'll do it one more time here. From the back, out the front, through both pieces of the felt. And then kind of pull it tight so you get that cool little whip stitch along the top. And you're gonna do that all the way up the side then kind of just put your bean bag over the top so you can see about how much room you need. And that way you can cut off all of the excess and we can use that whip stitch across that edge then as well. So here I'm gonna cut off all of my extra. And back to my sewing. And don't worry about the corner. Um, you're basically gonna do a couple more stitches on the top and then just go ahead and turn that corner. The nice thing about the whip stitch is it doesn't have to be perfect. 
and felt and embroidery thread are nice and forgiving, which is why I like sewing with them. Okay, once you've gone across those two, you've only got one side left, so we're gonna tuck our bean bag inside just like a little pocket and just kind of poke it down in there. Make sure your edges get pretty even and we'll pick up our needle and thread and keep on going. Okay, when you get to the end and you've done all three sides, go ahead and from the back to the front, pull it through. And then the last two whip stitches that you have, I'm gonna put my needle right underneath and pull it almost all the way through. I wanna leave this little loop that I can put my needle through and that way when I pull it tight, it's gonna make a knot. And then I'm just gonna do that same thing one more time, pull it almost all the way through, put the needle through the loop, and then I have a knot and I'm gonna cut the excess off as close as I can. And there you have it, a bean bag. So you are gonna do that four more times, well, four times total, so this plus three more, and those will be your bean bags. So now we can move on to your targets. What are you gonna to be tossing your bean bags at? We've got these plates, we've got these markers, and really, you can do this any way you want to. Um, I'm just gonna show you an example that I was thinking of. So I'm gonna outline the circle, and you kinda of just want it to be big enough so that it's visible from a distance. So when you are throwing your bean bags, trying to get them to land on these targets, you can see how many points you're going for. Um, and like I put in the instructions, you can do as far away as you want. You can do normal things. You can do trick shots if mom says it's okay, like off the wall or off the couch. Um, Left-handed is fun. Over your shoulder is fun. Under your knee is fun. There's all kinds of things that you can do. Um, I'm going to put how many points this particular target is worth in the middle. We're going to make this one three points. Then I'm going to attempt to freehand the number three, which got a little wonky there in the middle, but that's okay. I'm going to color that in um, so that I know how much this is worth. And then I'll go ahead and do my other target plates as well. And when you're done with your beanbag toss, don't forget to check out our beanbag video part two for a juggling tutorial.